Hi, good afternoon, and thank you for tuning in to another episode on this lovely Thursday afternoon. What I wanted to talk to you today about is I wanted to talk about how to stretch your EBT dollars. Um, what you could do to help stretch your EBT dollars or to be of help to you is everybody's uh, deposit date will differ. So whatever date your deposit shows up, take whatever amount you get, divide it by four, and try to spend that amount or within that amount per week on groceries. That is a method that I like to use whenever I go shopping. Also, definitely consider looking at things that are on sale that week. Of course, look at your circular, see what is on sale. And also, this is also another helpful tip when it comes to shopping for groceries, is if you're big on coupons, definitely consider, you know, now they have it set up to where you could just go on a website and just tap on a coupon and it's clipped. And then when you go and check out after you paid for your groceries, all of those items will come off your total and you just pay that much less. That's another way to save on groceries. I tend to do that whenever I go to like um, BJ's Wholesale Club. Not only will they accept their coupon, but if you happen to have a manufacturer's coupon, they'll accept that along with their coupon, which means more savings passed on to you. Um, another thing you definitely want to factor in when it comes to grocery shopping is how often you go because of the price of gas. I know that the price of gas has come down about roughly 30 cents a gallon, but it's still pretty high. So if you could factor in possibly, you know, getting good essential groceries, you know, food items, not so much junk or snacks or things of that nature, although a little bit of snacks and a little bit of treats, you know, like ice cream or whatnot for those that like to buy it, that's not so bad. But primarily focus on getting essential, beneficial groceries. Um, you know, that way you don't have to make so many trips to the grocery store. And, um, you know, you definitely also want to consider making out a grocery list and make out exactly everything you're going to need for that week. That way, when you get through shopping, you have everything and then you don't have to go back and say, oh, I forgot this item or I forgot to buy that. You don't want that to happen. You want to try to get everything on that list that you want to go to the grocery store and get. Um, if you don't want to do that, there are places you can go. Um, of, of course, grocery stores is one. Um, another company that I like to deal with that starts with the letter A, and I think you know where I'm going with this, and, and the last letter is N. You can go on there and search for groceries, and they do take Snap EBT. Um, if you're able to do Amazon Fresh, if you want that type of thing, they offer that as well. A lot of the time, you can get groceries delivered either later that day or the following day or the day after. So that's another method of savings to go about getting some groceries without having to leave your your home, you know, and spend the gas to go and buy your groceries. But it also depends on how far away you live from a grocery store. If you live a couple of miles or three miles, maybe five or six mile round trip, that's not so bad. But if you have to go eight, nine, 10, 11, 
plus miles out of your way just to go to the grocery store and buy what you need, and it's over 20 miles round trip, then you may want to consider maybe shopping online. That would not be such a bad idea. So, you know, definitely consider a few of these options when you go and use your EBT card. Also, I want to mention as well, you can purchase cold food items on your EBT card. You can go and buy subs. You can buy potato salad, macaroni salad, any cold items. Also, along with the cold items, any food that they have, uh, like the fried chicken, chicken tenders, potato wedges, anything that they have out on their hot bar. What they'll do a lot of the time is they'll take that and put it in a plastic container with a plastic lid and put a price on it, and then the next day they'll resell it as a cold item. EBT will pay for that. That way, all you got to do, it's still fresh. All you got to do is just take it home, heat it up, and you've got the same thing. So basically what you're buying is hot food from the previous day or night, the next day, and then you just heat it up in your microwave or, how, or your air fryer or however you heat it up, and then you're, you, know, you, can, you can have you know, hot food that way. So that will give you a few ideas of what you can do when it comes to using or stretching your EBT card. Um, I do know that taking my balance that I have when they deposit and I divide it by four month to month and live within that means, I know that it works for me. If I tend to spend a little less than that, it's better for the following week and so on and so on. It really does help me out. Anyway, I want to thank all of you for tuning in on this Thursday afternoon. Uh, be on the lookout in the near future, possibly Saturday, um, for another video. And um, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys have, the, have a great remainder of your Thursday, and I'll see you next time. Bye.